Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Uh, we have a new pillage, uh, a new garrison target, and, uh, you know, whatever. How are you doing, TSM? Hey, I'm back. Yeah, all good. Thanks very much. Oh, Fred's online, uh, you know. So he is. Yeah, we, we, were talk we were talking about Hadrian's Wall. Do you remember how tall it was originally, Fred? Back in the day. <laughs> so, so uh, all right, well, let's move forward. Uh, we also have a question from Ligo. So I think we'll address this on the uh, on this slide. Uh, next week, we have Undying Embers. So everybody remember, if you're drilling out, uh, you know, douse them with water. Don't put them right next to your house. You know, that, that charcoal can, those coals can, uh, uh, you know, stir things back up. But, you know. Um, yes, Dave. <laughs> oh, I, no, no. I, I don't think, uh, yeah, Fred hacked down the sycamore. Uh, we, I'm just asking if you remembered how tall the wall was around there when it was put up. Because it's it's pretty short right now. It doesn't look like a, a really a defensive asset anymore, like it potentially was historically. So, oh, good. Uh, Undying Embers. We get the Sovereign, which is going to be the new ship for the next uh, assault cycle. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, don't uh, you know. All right, and this is what Liga was asking about. There is a stat uh, block. I'm not sure if he has any more than this, because uh, I have not gone anything, but the fact that they potentially could be adding stats to a skin in the future, and they're just creating the space for it. I hope not. Personally. But... Or it's like Tier 7 and the FM. They keep some popping up because somebody's like experimenting about what they could do. Because you know, like every you know month or two, you get six and seven, and it messes everything up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you got to refresh and whatnot. I don't know if it's that or what it is, but yeah, I I don't know. Okay. Google says maybe fifteen feet. Uh, what, what I, I said three meters, so yeah, it's uh, a little bit taller. That's uh, four or five meters. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, all right, let's move on. I forgot to update. Uh, Defensive Edge has. Uh, this was the original calendar. I asked where it was, and they changed the calendar. So Defensive Edge is no longer in there. We have pillage this week, bat of the bone for the pit bull, um, Halley moon, rain of fire, and then we got the raid, um, and then a normal FM, uh, VXP weekend, uh, Legion's finest, which I'm assuming is going to be a Legion's finest plus. Um, I like to think so, yeah, yeah. You know, at this point, um, to include kits and upgrade tokens for your triaries. Um, and then bounty, uh, and then kingmaker for the sovereign, which is the uh, fleet we win in the next raid. Um, any thoughts on the calendar? Um, I, th I think people are struggling to spend tokens, aren't they, now at the moment? I mean, some people are almost in this position where they've got nowhere to put this week's tokens. I I did uh, <clears throat> the thing to get me an extra contagion, and I spent them on that. All right, okay. You know, I only had yeah, one, so, so I spent it that oh, way. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, I don't do bounty and whatnot, so that's the way I spent them. I mean, there's, yeah. You know, did you do a TLC to get one as well, or not? Yeah, I did two levels of that TLC in order just to enough get... to get some bits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did three, I think, because I got the um, armors as well. 
<laughs> yeah, the invader armors, the tier yeah, 12. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I didn't do any of the um, mastery rounds, so I couldn't bother. Okay. All right. Pillage. Mm -hmm. Pillage. All right, let's move forward. All right, we have a new 106. It used to be a 102. Uh, now it's a 106. <coughs> so we have a new target. Um, it looks like an old target, but it's a new target. It, do, it does look like an old target, <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I agree with you completely. Um, you know, despite the doom and gloom that I, you know, they're eventually going to do something bad, but yeah, you can they still do that. Yeah. Hmm. As long as you can have, you know, as long as you can drive in such a way, uh, just to skirt things and whatnot, it's, it's not, it's not forcing you out of using a combination of three triaries and two arcs. It's not, well, you know, quite the opposite. It's forcing you into using three Triari and two arcs because if you want to go around with no damage, you ain't going to be using a Triari fleet. Yeah. Uh, so, so, uh, I mean, I, I wish there were more, uh, what's the right word? Uh, uh, explaining what, what their path forward is. There's no, yeah, there's no indication, is there? No, like, a, like, what are we supposed to be doing as players with our Triari fleet? Because the combination of um, three Triaries and two Arcs is, is the best solution at this point in time. Uh, at some point, is that not going to be the best solution? Um, well, but, I think we're yeah, past that stage, aren't we? Really, to be honest. Well, this the the one hundred six was one of the big deciding points. Like, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't know until we saw this, and this isn't forcing you to do this. So, yeah. Um, we might be past that. Um, we're probably getting one more FM target. Right? We should be getting one more, yeah. Yeah, so that would be the only one. So if it was where they sneak in something that forces you to use the... Uh, five triaries which will be the week after raid won't it that should come in hopefully mm -hmm. if they do do it that's normal isn't it true true so if that happens that happens uh, um yeah yeah i mean it's a path forward based on the knowledge that we have fred so but yeah i'm not really sure exactly what it is but it seems it seems cool at this point i, I don't have a problem with it i mean um, we're already halfway through the triary season because it started in august and but it was first using pillaging august wasn't it yeah or it should and, have been and, if you were going for a whole fleet that was you know yeah and, and you, you sent me some uh tables uh, have you put that out that uh, uh no not yet i haven't got around to it but yeah i'm i'm looking uh, at the uh, table now but um I mean, I don't mind showing it, but um, I, I just it'd be just a table. I'm not sure if people understand it at the moment. Just, yeah, it's going to be a difficult table to put together based on yeah. I, but but I think you know your first swipe at it. I think it was a good idea. Well, I had a little I, double. I mean, I can show it if you want. I'll, I'll, I'll get it across. Hang on, where is it? Uh, in fact, no, because I just shared. Have I shared the window or shared the screen? Let me see if. Uh, let me see. Will it, will it go across? I think I might have just shared the. No, it's not. I've only shared the slideshow, so um, it won't go across. So, so I looked at it. We were talking about obviously the uh, the fact there's no pillage in September, mm -hmm. although they're calling it a September pillage because it's it's active in the month of September, even though it started at the end of August. If you know what I mean. But they're still calling yeah, yeah. it September. I went looking at their stats. So technically, it's a September pillage, but obviously it's sort of overlapping the month of august and, uh, and september so the chart would work in that context that it's in september before it finishes but it doesn't wasn't in september anyway we won't go into that because obviously people can't see the chart so it doesn't make sense to them. but um i'm going to do a video on it and, and but i'm going to tie that also to how i manage my dock as well and that sort of stuff because the two things assist each other 
and um, one's a visual representation and the other one's a physical so and the two things back each other up so it might just help make players play a bit okay. more ergonomically um, rather than just thinking christ what's the next fleet for pillage and what do i have to work on and that sort of not if i mean if you're up to speed and getting gets to x1 then fine but if you're a person that only gets to x1 sorry okay. it's to u1 u2 you just you do need a bit of help to work out what fleet to to focus on next you know yeah, it, it, remi it, reminds, it reminds me of the old uh, uh, videos that Derpy would put out, like explaining the cycle. I think that's what you're doing, right? You're explaining like the whole yeah. cycle. And trying to do both cycles where actually there's actually a, a synergy between the pillage and the raid. And actually, mm -hmm. it also goes in a form cycle. So actually, and I sort of understand why Kixie have done it now, because this explains a bit better that literally the January of every single year is the transfer window to the next tier, if you know what I mean. Uh, and it happens because yeah. once I got through 24 months with a, of, of working it out, and I went right back to January last year to use the, because um, we knew what was going, so I used the previous release notes. Well, I went back to January 23, and I forecasted out to December 24 of exactly what fleets we were going to get. Um which is easy enough to do by tier. You can't always do it by name because you don't know what the names are, but you can do it by tier and then obviously damage type or, or, or ship type, garrison, siege, assault, and skirmish. So, but I'll, I'll put, probably put something out on the, on the weekend because this is only pillage and it's not exactly that week, exciting a weekend, is it? So, okay. Um, uh, we have the 106, uh, which is the uh, triary target. Quote, or, you know, I'm doing air quotes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a multi -hull. garrison target. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a multi hull target, and then we have the Fenrir target, which uh, we also had last month. Uh, I forget. Uh, I mean, I think I put steelheads on that, and I was just autoing it. Mm, yeah. Yeah, um, I couldn't bother to do anything, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I, I've been driving with the one hundred sixes and. I'm t I have 33 small pinches, the 13 minutes, which turn. Ah, well, I wonder what you use that single that single turret. It's difficult to get, isn't it? Well, well, it's sort of like the way I use it. I mean, you know, I'm assuming you're going to hit the target in a little bit, but yeah, the way I use the way I use it is if I fuck up a little bit, where I'm like driving through and it starts to fire at me. Next thing I know, I'm dropping a pinch on there and taking it out. There's only because, really one turret you might need to do that on, though. True, true. And like, but what I'm saying, if it feels like you're fucking it up a little bit, then you can just, you know, you know, because once you pass through there and it starts to fire at you, now it's going to fire a bunch at you. Yeah. You, you, understand, you, you understand what I mean? And mm -hmm. so once it starts firing a bunch at you, I'm like, you know, once it fires like one at me, I'm like, boom. I'm going to pinch it, take it out, and it's all taken care of. Because once I pass through that, I'm not going to get the the indication that this is a, a new thing. So mm -hmm. therefore, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to move forward and just, I'm going to pinch it, just take it out, and move forward. That's At least that's the way I'm doing it. So, so uh, I don't know. Anything else we should talk about on this? I think, you know, based on what we were also saying beforehand, if we take a look at, um, people are hoping they understand this, but I'll, I'll mention it anyway, because I am going to mention it um, when we put out the video. Pillage is one of those things that should be pretty straightforward with people. Um, clearly, 106 is obviously the garrison one, and then the 96, because the numbers run consecutively down, you know. Uh, so top-level garrison, even though we're using a combi fleet, but that's just because it's a cycle at the moment. And then the next level down garrison, the previous fleet. And it's exactly the same then for the current um, PVE fleet. So if you're going to get a top level assault or a top level siege, the the, the one down, obviously, uh, is the previous level siege. Mm -hmm. You know, so if the top level siege, the next one down siege. And if the top level is obviously the garrison, the next one down is the next level down the garrison. So you can sort of stack them up in the dock very right? In, in anticipation so if you haven't got you know if you ended up having a really really good um you know fleet that was one tier down and the current fleet is you know right up here depending on the damage type and range sometimes you can get away with using the previous one i've seen quite a few people do that in some of the tlcs and 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 in some of the 
former targets as well. Um, so it's worth an effort to trying anyway, at least. Like in the event that's just happened, you know, people were using the previous fleet because their current fleet wasn't anywhere near strong enough. So. Okay. But anyway, of course, splash screens just turned up for the pit bull. It's very bright. <laughs> I'm just logged into the game and the pit bull splash screen for the bad to the bone is is yeah it's definitely pretty zany <laughs> okay all right well, let's move forward oh prizes all right uh two-day structure build tokens the mandate engine regal missile we'll talk about later uh we finally got the triary kits back again yes at last yes yeah, yeah. So I've been buying those. Uh, yeah, U two is a day on the normal ones, uh, or day plus a little, and then the flagship is like a day and a half. U uh, two seems like the sweet spot to me because because well, of the light. I think. I think maybe, not maybe, maybe, maybe. seems like a sweet spot because you don't need to. <laughs> well, 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 the reason I call it the sweet spot is the countermeasure reload of yeah. is helpful at that point. The and that's why I did that video. I made sure I got them to YouTube so that I could show the video to see the benefit of having that done. So, yeah, I, I agree with yeah. you. YouTube is definitely a sweet spot. The rest of it is all. But but the rest of it is also weird because uh, I, I can't remember if I mentioned it before, but uh, you three um it does a weird thing doesn't it it does um hang on that u3 it did what did it do yeah you got a projectile speed of what was it 25 oh yeah you got another projectile speed at u3 at 25 percent which is quite helpful for count measures isn't it um true and the rest of it was yeah a little bit splash a little bit spread so so u3 is helpful um, but I do agree that the countermeasure reload of 20 percent is um and fifty percent building damage is is certainly worth having. And I did use them in uh, one of the no, um, but, 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 wait, wait, wait. but the building damage of the triaries at this point is fucking useless, right? Yes, but I did do the FM target with a fleet of triaries, which is fine. And actually they it, with the um the new special and the uh, two extra weapons on, you know, the new ones. Mm. They're actually pretty powerful. They did make a huge difference. So I don't mind driving them in the FM target because they, they can take it down really fast. Um, but they just can't do this pillage target for zero damage, whereas I can do the FM target for zero damage. So they're not completely useless. They're just not as flexible as a, as a combi fleet, obviously. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, we can, do the, we can do the... Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do the... We'll play it two ways. We'll do the um, we'll do the target with the combi fleet, and because it's late at night, I'll just do the target again with a full triary fleet on auto and see what happens. Okay, good. I won't cuss. I promise. <laughs> well, yeah, Fr Fred's gonna be upset if you do not cuss, but yeah, just with the... no, no, I will because I know I take damage, uh, and I've already seen people posting how much damage they got. So, um, but it'd be just interesting to see which route it takes. You know, I mean, this right. isn't uh, it isn't a uh, auto fleet, is it? So. Yeah, you might as well do that because, you know, the difference between these, uh, you might, you know, because people, are, uh, what's the difference between the Mandate Engine and the Black Main? Uh, really nothing. No. Depends on how many you click. If you manage to click, pick up lots of the Black Main ones, you know, it's 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 minimalistic, isn't it? And by the time you're at U3, you wouldn't even notice it. So. True. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, we can I mean, if you don't feel if you've got loads of those engines, you know, and then you're looking at struggling for points because you can't get you're better off getting these, the Regals, and, and waiting for them. True, Cause true, because we, we assume a 15% bonus. Let's say assumption is a 15% yeah. bonus, you know. We, we, Particularly, we don't know. You can have loads of them. That's going to be quite a difference. Almost like having compared to the old ship, that's going to make a huge difference. You know, depending on if we have a counter size, but you know, true. Whereas the engine is is meh. Okay. We can move forward. Yep. It's not as that thing. Okay. Uh, my problem when I look at this. 
It has a sub of five. No, it can't have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, and, and look at down at the bottom too, right? Oh yeah, nine, ten. It must be twelve, oh, yeah. then, isn't it? Yeah, and the, yeah. We assume something on the other side. I'm like, I have no idea what's going on with this. I mean, yeah, it seems like it fires at least less than a half each time. Well, it's very much like most American hardware, completely overkill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You well, know. it's except for you need to remember these. This is a Canadian company. Yeah, I know, but I know what. Uh, yeah, yeah. Them. I don't know if the Canadian military works in such a manner. Well, actually, it's, it's even worse than that. It's not even a Canadian company anymore, is it? It's, it's, it's not. It's top tier. Well, it's, it's like Swedish and Canadian, but yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, as far as I, I wouldn't blame it on the Americans, the fact that it has, uh, you know. Salvo so five and appears that it can fire like okay. 12, at, 12 at a time. I'll, I'll go for they've been influenced by their neighbor. <laughs> okay. I mean, it looks like it's a salvo. In fact, it looks like a multi shot of three, doesn't it? Where it would fire three and they'd move, if anything. But obviously, it doesn't do any of that. So, you know, if it had a salvo of three that moves into three, it would make absolute sense. Yeah. But that isn't the case. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, don't, I don't get it. There's no links between the two. We'll just be all right. all right. All right. So do you want to move on to the next? Uh, uh, do you want to hit the? Uh, you want to hit the targets and figure out what oh, people yeah, are doing wrong, do. what people doing wrong, or what people are doing right uh, at the end well, of the I day. I don't know if they're doing anything wrong, are they? I, I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm assuming Lego's doing something wrong. And Fred, uh, but, you know. Um, can you use rockets while your launch pad's upgrading? We'll soon find out. Um, I think you can use them, but you can't uh, build them. But, so. uh, no, I think you're right. You can't. I'm just trying to see what my loadout is, and I've oh, I've got a long pinch, baby. I've got seven of them, so that's why. Let me just. Uh, I've got my garrison fleet out. Yes, I have. I've got no crew on, which is good. I'm just going to zoom the game a minute to a different ratio, um, thingy, so people can see. Let's get up to 110 percent. That's better. Oh. Okay, I'll switch over. Okay, should be good now. Radio. So this, uh, he says, is it a combi fleet? Yes, I'll put out a combi fleet. Okay. Uh, and we're looking for the 106 target. So there's one there. Entry points are the same, so you shouldn't matter which way you're attacking it. So you can do a couple of nice things in this target, which is... Which is uh, So hopefully it should it either change that way or that way come which way it changed to be honest the top of my head. Change that way, okay. Okay. That's a nice uh oh no, yeah, it wasn't. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's better from down this angle. It definitely works from down here. That that's what I was saying. At this point, I'm just no, see, that didn't get it either. Drop, drop a pinch on it and... No, I'm not pinching this one. Okay. So I'm saving the pinch because I want to save it. Let's see, I haven't, I've highlighted it. That's my problem. Yeah, the fact that... Yeah. I mean, you can still do this stupid diving in now thing. That still works. Well, unless you've already woken it up and they haven't fired, but they've fired the whole... Right. 
So I want to save the pinch for this. Sorry, this one. This one's really annoying up here because you want to go down from this angle, but you can't quite get it. So it's really annoying. But anyway, I've got a bit of damage, but I don't really care. Right. So um, then I go down to here because there's nothing, you know, ranging wise to do any harm. I've already done one today, so I haven't really got a muscle memory yet. <laughs> what the upper skins is that what's coming is it <laughs> okay so we'll 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 range this one here because we know it's there yeah you can just move towards the end <clears throat> No, obviously, because this one's slightly damaged. True, but you can move to the right. Well, I'll go to I'll go to here and get this thing. So yeah, because yeah, yeah. you're gonna need to do that. But but stop. There we go. And if we highlight this one back here, that you can see you got a little bit of a gap. This is nice. Mm -hmm. So actually, you can do one or two things here. You can go straight forward and get that one, or you can come down this corner here. And you can just inch forward. And just take that one there. Or it's go up in this corner here and take that one there. There's two different ways of doing it. So. Then I go across here and I take out these ships next. Yeah, I do that as well. Yeah, it's sort of like oh, well, this one and then the ships. It, it, it's yeah. sort of surprising that they let you take those out. Take a chance. Yeah, but it's sort of surprising <laughs> that they let you even reach you know. that far. Yeah, I thought that one there might be over here somewhere, and they put it on there. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, they didn't do that to us. Um, but you can, you can, you can do it a couple of ways. You know, you can go up here and take this one out. If you want to do that first, it's a bit like a pointless placement because it doesn't do anybody any harm, to be honest. Although saying that, it would do you be just inside range if you were using Triaris. Now this will take a couple of the um, ch chunks out of these two here, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. You can still not have to worry about it because you can get back to this one uh, on the way round once you go in the corner. So this one's not too bad, or it wasn't too bad. So I'll just double check. Uh, yeah, there. Or it will get back. Yeah. Did manage to get this one. Yeah. What's the right angle on this one? No, oh, that's not it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this one has a difficult angle. Uh, nice to get it earlier. But like I said, I've only done it once, so. Yeah. That's yeah. not it either. Yeah. Ooh, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, at some point, once it starts firing at you, it's going to continue to fire at you and not provide, you know, a warning. So at that point, that, that's when I just boom. I just go after it and I, I, I pinch it and just take it out. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So you are at. Uh... Yeah, almost flush with the wall. Look along the wall line. Really. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I say, I only did one of these as soon as pillage started, and then I sort of went on to something else. So uh, I've got this one here. Then so we're going to go for this one if we can get to it. There's nothing over there that's going to bother us, so we're we're not overlapping two, which is nice. I'll highlight that one just to make sure we're not too close. It shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Got quite a distance from there to there. This is one I struggled with. I, I literally couldn't find a sweet spot for it. And it may be further. Right? I may have to go up here because obviously then that's the, the shape. So maybe it's actually this piece. 
because I always try to look for like the little red sections and try and find a place. So we'll, we'll give it a go and see if we can find something. So there's nothing over there, but there is one over here. So uh, yeah, you know, this is the only uh, this is the only tricky part. The rest of it you can yeah. So I'll get in range of this, but I want to see if I can at, get... at this point I would I would I would use the uh, the pinch I, I, the pinch. Yeah, I would use the yeah. 13 minutes pinch, the eight minute pinch. And just boom, and then you can take care of the rest of it, right? Yeah, but then you've also got to mount those pinches. You know, I just want to see if there's, there is a slot where you can get it. No, I, I, I understand. I understand that, but yeah, you understand no. what I'm you understand what I'm saying. That, you know, as far as like, yeah, I mean, you can just so, it, so much a pain in the ass. You, you can, but you can just you can also just yeah do that thing and then just go in and out a few times. Yeah, true. You do get you do get plenty of time if you just spin around the circles. So it's too far in then I think. Yeah, I've got one off, so that's me. I'm definitely pinching it now. Which one is it? Not that one there, that one there. Not that I need it, look, it's virtually dead, but hey ho. The principle's the same. Right, we got uh, that one in the back, so it's all by itself. Yeah, the rest of it's, yeah. You could auto the rest of it, basically. Well, well, well I wouldn't. You, 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 <laughs> no, you can't auto it, but you can't. Because Not the old school you, auto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, can't, you could, uh, because of the triaries with the, uh, the shorter range, they will, you know, they'll bring out the... But you don't have to be so finitely arranged because obviously... And then this one here, there it is there. It's on the back, so... So did you think in the event that the limited skin that you had to get the shards for is not as nice as this skin? I am not going to uh, spend my time on the... Uh... The quality of the skins, one way or the other. It's, it's that you know, you know me. Now, if what Lego is suggesting is the fact that skins now have uh, tangible value, I, I'm all up for that. I mean, you, you you're not a big fan of it, but I'm like, okay, well, well, I like I the guess. visuals in the game, and I and I like this skin. I think it's quite appealing. Yeah, and, and compared but, to the skin that was the limited one, you had to get shards, you know, parts of the skin. It's not as uh, to me, it doesn't look so visually appealing on them in the game as you're using it. So, yeah, anyway, I got a bit of damage there, but let's go back in and mess around with um and see what it looks like with a full triary fleet. And do I just alter it or should I actually stop for the long range thing? What do you reckon? It's, it's your choice. I mean, I have no idea. I mean, as far oh, I'm as I'm not doing any more tonight, so I don't really care to us. No, as far know. as uh. Uh, I do not. I have not tried these targets with uh, yes, it is full, tri one, full, full Terrari, So you, you okay. know, you make that decision. So that's the ship there that's got the, the that limited skin, and then that's the ship that's got the you know the one that was just if you went and got just some of the standard stuff you got that one there is one of the other skins. So, but anyway, uh, only reason I put it on that one there is because this one here's got MDS freeze on it, just so I can clarify. Things I do right. Okay. Uh, well, do you want to take out the other one as well, um, just so we can say we've done the other target? It's your choice at this point. It's Fenrir, I mean, isn't I... it? Yeah. And you, and what were you using? You were using. Um... Oh no, I haven't got a crew. All right, I won't do it. Oh, as far I'll as I'm autoing the target. Yeah, yeah. I was going to. I, I, I think. It. I think last time I haven't done it this time. I'm assuming I'm just going to use steelheads because I I don't want to use like you know. High dollar ones. I want to use, you know, the easiest ones to use. Okay, I'll tell you what we we'll do. We'll do, we'll do these two things, right? Okay, we're going to go and auto that target with Troy Re's, and we're not even going to go watch it. <laughs> we're just going to see what the damage is at the end of it. And I can roll for a crew there at the same time. Okay. So what is, what is it? One o six. Or do people want to watch the target? I'm not sure they want what they want to do. 
if they want to see the pain or just let us get on with it. Be quick. Yeah, I mean, if you could do 10 of them, you're probably in good shape. That's my thought. If I did 10 of them, I think it'd be a miracle. <laughs> mm. The one of four? I thought I was doing a ton of them. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I, I was thinking the one of four, not this one. Or whatever it's called. The uh... Yeah, yeah, the one of four, you can do tons. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This one. This one here, I'm not sure how many I can get away with. Um, yeah, this is not I the can, one I was suggesting. I'd probably be okay doing. there because I'm inside the range, but I'm yeah, not too bad. Yeah, this is not the if one I'm get, suggesting autoing. But yeah, if I can kill. Oh, yeah, I thought we wanted to see what this is like on auto. Well, I now I'm curious. But before I was, yeah, before I was like the other one is the one I would. Auto. Well, if it stops just in time and those, see that was one little because that was the big explosion thing. So if it manages to get to it before it does another one, then I don't really mind too much. Yeah, it stays in range. Yeah, but it wasn't too bad. No, it's this one. Up, it's this one up here I'm more worried about, and this one here because hopefully it will fire. And well, okay, it, was that's reasonable. it was it was stopped at that point, which is good. Yeah, that was that's reason, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then stop, 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 stop. That's okay. So you can probably get well, we'll see. Well you can probably get a stack. But then again, you're doing chip 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 on both targets then, which is not good because you can't repair both at one time. You want one that's instant fixed, don't you? And one that you can just long fix on yeah because yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna wait till the end of the day uh, we've got one more at long range and he's gonna come. So, it, so, it, yeah. it, it, it's 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 really good the fact that it stops at the right time in the right place so they so thanks they are I'll, I'll give them kudos they built the target correct this time so you know the target fits the fleet mm -hmm. and actually you know that's for an auto target you'd expect that sort of damage i didn't put a crew on or anything so let's see what the how many you can get. Uh, see what the repair time is. Yep. So it resisted obviously everything. So yeah, and then a bit of thingy. So yeah, fine. An hour twelve. So you can get uh, seven or eight. Should be able to get a good eight, I reckon. Yeah, probably Six, a good six. eight. Which is, you know, if, if, you, if you're doing that and then going to work next morning, they'll be fixed again. So, you know, um, that's fine. We'll put out the other fleets. What's the what is, what is it? Let me just remind myself. Yeah, we want Fenrace, don't we? you got the same steering <laughs> as in driving. Okay. Um, right, where's the Fenrays? Uh, they are there. So, and we want to hit the 104, don't we? Okay, the 104. So, you say you want to auto this one, did you? It's your choice. I mean, it's, I don't. Yeah. The, I mean, the yeah. only thing with the auto is these these damn things here, they leave the orange ring, sort of the yellowy ring behind. And you end up driving through the damn thing with it, but then again, I don't know how much damage it does. I'm not sure. Well, it it's should. Well, it should. Uh, it doesn't go away yeah, until you watch. Well, no, 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 but it's outside of the range of you know because they stay still. Not when they get to the one here, they drive into it. Yeah, but that first it? one. Yeah, yeah. But then they've got the charge up now, so. Let's see anyway. Let's see what kind of I think it was like I think it was around 30 minutes, but I think I used the steelhead when I was doing well, this. We're, last we're, X, we're X1, but no crew. So let's just see. Right in the middle of that red ring. That wasn't nice. Yeah, see, look, it was driving through there, then it was still still well. Uh, but I think it was like 37 minutes. Puke yellow, somewhere, yeah. somewhere in the neighborhood. So you should get what, 14, 15 targets? Yeah, no ab pun, by the way. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Uh, it's these ones here when you're stuck stead and then they're splattering the hell out of you and get to, you're getting all that area effect damage. Yeah, see, he's going to drive through that one there again. See, it's only a tiny bit, but they still do drive into it. 
Well, we'll see one. We'll do two. So now we've got the damage on this one here. So that was a full auto. And we'll just do a with, 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 no crew, with no crew. So, yeah. 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 I'm curious. Oh, just out of interest. So evading and resisted apparently took none, but that's rubbish. And then 1% on that. And then 44. Okay. So I, I think, yeah, I think I'd be right. If you put steel heads on, I think it'd be 37. Seems about right, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's get rid of that for a minute. The, the thing I will say about the pillage this weekend, obviously, and, and sometimes you do get some shippy type stuff in there. There's nothing to rush this weekend because there's no like rush in and get it because you've got to start building a ship. There's none of that to do, so you can take your time. There's yeah, the only the to. only thing I've been rushing to do is yeah is because uh, I don't have uh, all the triary uh, kits, so I'm <laughs> running through. Got Lego just put up. No, I agree. You're right. So yeah, I'm. I'm. That's what I'm doing. Um, so let's just see if it makes a difference. Just uh, driving a little bit of it. Well, you still don't have a crew, so yeah. Yeah, I I'm just gonna steel, see. I think the steelhead, because I think you're mostly taking splash damage. Yeah, I agree. And I assume you have like the ninety-six percent of aid on the flagship, like on I do. the flag. Yeah, I haven't changed that here. Yeah. So, I think you're in good shape. Um, well, you're driving now, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to see the difference of just like bull driving as opposed to see what difference see what difference it makes. So I'm not going to go into those yellow rings, basically, and I'm not stopping for those area effect ones. So. What was it, 44, wasn't it? 44 or something? Yeah, yeah. But I'm more curious, you know. You know what I'm curious about. Full auto. Full well, it's a quick auto target, with, isn't it? It's a quick target. Yeah, full, full auto with uh, steel heads is what I'm curious about. Yeah, I haven't got a steel heads crew. You don't, I'm sure you don't want to see me watch that. So 52. Yeah. 44. So, so you took more damage driving? No. I didn't repair. Oh, okay. So okay, that's 44. So. Now it's 52. So that'd be instant fixing. Oh. easy, wouldn't it? Okay. All good. So if you wanted to, you could drive and get away. And that's no crew. So eight minutes. That'd be instant fixing the water, wouldn't it? Driving. You could instant fix the water if you use a grease, grease monkey. You've got loads of those. True. Could that be four minutes something, wouldn't it? Anyway, um, yeah, so there we go. There you go. There's some, there's some targets. I'm not doing any more because no rush for pillages there. Okay. Um, anything else we should discuss? or? Uh, and, and is there any reason to have a show on uh Not on for Friday? pillage. No, I don't think so. There's nothing new coming, oh, but, is there? Well, I'm um, yeah. I don't know if there are any of these. TLCs. Unless Fred wants to hop on and draw some targets. And if, well, yeah, we're definitely we could run through one of the things the TLCs. I mean, what have we got for the um, pit bull? What are we using for that? It's the uh, oh, what's the name of it? It's, it's the, the skirmish, isn't it? No, it's it's the one that we just use. The one we got the ink crew for and all that kind of stuff. Impalers, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, impalers. The imps. So pitbulls, I'm going to do it because it's got another one of those really gaudy skins which I want to collect. So because I like collecting skins, and the good thing is, obviously, you've got a lot of protector plates. So it's definitely worth at least getting to uh, to price pack three. Because you know, six plates for a few minutes work is definitely worth doing. It's the cheapest way to get them, anyway, isn't it? And it's co-op as well. So you know, if you've got a really cruddy fleet, at least you can just go in there, sit in the corner, and someone else can do it for you. Okay. 
Do you have more skins than three? I'm not sure. Depends which ship. So yeah, I mean, how many moons a bit pointless, isn't it? Well, unless you need your Fenrays to get any stronger. Rain of Fire, Helmars. Well, I can imagine everyone's got those done, haven't they? But then again, there are some Conqueror crews in there, which is nice because you can still get, you know, a uh, demo squad or a chance of getting a demo squad. Then fantastic. So, so there are okay. some things. That's it. Yeah. Helmars versus Highmars, you know, different things. <laughs> so, all right. Um, yeah, for not doing much more. Um, thank you all for showing up. Uh, not sure if we're going to do a show on Friday. Uh, maybe Derpy's going to show up and, uh, you know, explain explain the world to us in a completely different way. You know kids nowadays. Um, what are your thoughts, DSM? Yeah, possibly. Illegal saying there's one on, the, on that... Uh on the Hellmars thing as well. But I don't know the answer to it, Liga, mate, because they've not told us anything. So the fact that it's got a a little picture on it, I don't know, mate, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Liga, I, I put a slide up for that earlier. Same concept, though, isn't it? It's the same thing. We don't know the answer. Yeah, it just says that's not applicable. But, um... mm -hmm. All right, folks. Uh, thank you all for showing up. Um, I don't know if we'll be around uh, on Friday, but uh, I thank you all for showing up at this point in time. And thank uh, TSM for showing up at this point in time. Um, I guess I should uh, invite anybody that wants to show up at this point in time, but uh, I don't know. Um, I just will say one thing quickly. I have a work thing to do next Wednesday. I plan to be back for your show, but I might not be able to do a live stream. Okay. Might not be able to. Um, work is taking me away for the day. I don't think I'm going to get back in time for the start of the raid. So, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, so this is not about Friday. This is about the start of the raid. This is about yeah, yeah, the start of the raid next week on Wednesday. Okay. This time, okay. this time next okay. week. So I'll endeavour to get back in time to do yours, though. All right. Alrighty, folks. Uh, thank you all. And uh, the link's there in case you want to join. But otherwise, uh, we will see you either Friday or Wednesday. Your choice. And. Uh, Take care. Wish you all the best. Laters. Later, people.